recording. Do we need to turn it off? Hold it a little farther away from you. All right, boy. Where are we? We are in the far away train yard. That's right, the far away train yard, East yeah. Deerfield Yard. Yeah. And behind us, you can see the geometry train is still hanging out. But one of the locomotives is disconnected now. So as you can probably see or hear actually, the locomotive is on, but I don't know what that means, if it's gonna be leaving soon or not. Plus I thought it needed another locomotive on the front to run this branch here. Who knows, it had one on yesterday, but maybe they decided they don't. But either way, we're gonna hang out for a while, see what's what. If we can talk with somebody, we'll talk with them and see if we can figure out any updates. <laughs> so this is, do you see those little rails and stuff for cars to did on train tracks? Because that <laughs> car is a real road That's car. That's right. High railer. Alright, good news update. We just talked with a rail worker and yeah, he said that yeah. he's thinking within the hour it should be on its way out. They're working on a software issue right now, but it should be, should be taken care of. I don't know, it's just going somewhere else. Yeah. But what's even cooler is it doesn't need the second locomotive on the front. So we're just gonna see it as is with the, what is it, 99.69 leading. It's gonna be sweet. So, what, what, so what, what? Cool. All right, boy, what's going on? And the train is wobbling right now and there's a green Red. <laughs> That's right. So we're waiting for the westbound freighter at Energy Park, but it's starting to rain. But the lights down the line just turned green. Well, it's a red, green, red. So that means the train's on its way. And then after that, the geometry train will be heading out. Train's just going overhead right now. There's two Union Pacific locos on it. And, uh, and an NS. So maybe we should go catch that. Yeah. So it's kind of funny to me. Last winter, I think it was, a Union Pacific locomotive came through and it was kind of a big deal because nothing had really come along for a while. And we went out to Gardner and saw it tied down there. And now in the past two days, we've seen three. And it seems like they're just kind of more and more common these days. Here you go, boy. And there is a <laughs> train, two flags, and we're not all the motor. There's 22K, and there is Geometry Train. That's right, Geometry Train. <laughs> geometry Train. Show me Geometry Train. Well, that was an unexpected treat for us for sure, seeing not one but two UP logos on that train. So once this one pulls in, pretty sure the Geometry Train is gonna be heading out. Now, hopefully, it stops raining by that point, because this rain is not great. And if, uh, if nothing else, hopefully it stops raining by the time we get to the tunnel, because that's really where I want to get the drone out. Well, it looks like no go today. Not sure exactly what's going on with it, but they pulled the crew from the train, and we just spoke with a worker who said that they're aiming for an 8 a.m. departure tomorrow. So, Early day, mm -hmm. we'll come on down and hopefully catch it tomorrow. Wasn't a total bust though, because we did see that other train with the two UP locos on it. <laughs>